Hey guys, hope you're having all a great day. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great time with your friends and families. I know it's not easy these times with COVID. However, we do what we can. Um, so I want to talk about here the release of uh, NiceHas uh, 0.530 release candidate. So this is a pre-release. It actually was out November 19, 2021. And what basically it did, it just added support for LHR for uh, a NiceHash quick miner. So if you usually, if you have an LHR card, you want to mine on the uh, NiceHash regular miner uh, using NBIN miner and LOL miner and you want to try to play with the overclock settings and you can fine tune it to mine with LHR cards. You can have the VRAM temperature from the dashboard. You have a if you select profile, a high, medium and light and you can have, have an efficient profile. So Nash has directly will do the full transition for you. You don't have to do anything. You just click a button, switch the profile and then it does for you. So with this release at least it adds support for LHR cards. Uh, and uh, you know, it's not ideal. Uh, so I did a video on the 3060Ti and now I'm going to do another video on the 3080Ti. So uh, I have this running here and uh, honestly, like I would say it's not the, the best results. Uh, I was getting around 80, 81 mega hash 79. I'm getting here 70 because I have the recording software. But uh, as you can see here, my main average was 81 on the light profile. And I noticed that if I chose any other profile, like high or efficient, the thing would then crash. It would, couldn't uh, change the overclocks, it couldn't apply the LHR, it would lock like 10, 20 times, and it would crash. So the only profile that I felt were consistent result was the uh, light one. And it's kind of sad because now if you have, let's say, T-Rex Miner, you can get up to 93 mega hash with this card. And currently now it's like 80, 81. Uh, however, I want to say, like, you know, this is a good good enough first version of this release. I do hope that they can fix this with the future, uh, with the regular release, the full uh, on. And now they're getting, you know, uh, they're doing more testing and they can improve this. However, this is a good uh, first candidate for the 3080 Ti. I do recommend that you keep on the light profile for you, uh, same as I did here. And, you know, you can try to tinker with these, with the high efficient. Or you can even try to do manual settings yourself. However, the reason why I chose nice hash for two reasons. I want to see the VRAM all the time and I don't want to bother playing with the overclass. You know, I would say this is average results for the uh, Sony Ti. You can get 20 more mega hashes or even now another revision. Uh, if you change the VBIOS, you can get up, up to 110 mega hashes. So this is a good first step, I would say, for a nice hash. However, if, uh, this, if, if the nice hash team uh, watched this video, I would say uh, keep working on this and you need a bit of improvement because you can get better results with NB Miner or T-Rex. Um, so this is a good first step, I would say, for a quick miner team. If you want something super easy, don't want to, you know, uh, you don't know how to overclock. And this is a good, good, enough, uh, prof a good enough way to mine. However, do select the light settings and not the other ones because you'll get into issues. Uh, this is all I have to say on the subject. Please subscribe and like and take care.